Welcome back. I'm 24K. If you're new here, hey. So today I'm going to do a review and we're going to do a wear test of the newest foundation from One Size Beauty. It's called Turn Up the Base. Um, I have worn this once before, so I have a little bit of thoughts on it, but I'm going to do something different this time. I may do something different this time. Let's go. This is what it looks like. The packaging is really, really cute, y'all. Very cute, very cute, very cute, very luxury looking. Um, it's glass. It reminds me a lot of the Fenty packaging as far as it being like weighted with glass. So you don't want to drop it on your toes, let me tell you, because I did that once with the Fenty and no good, no good at all. The face is primed, ready to go. Um, so the shade that I'm in, I am in Dark Deep 25N. It's for neutral undertones. So everything I use is gonna be down in the description box the first time i used this foundation i um used a more dense brush and i think i applied a little bit too much too quickly so this time i'm using a brush that's a little bit more fluffy so and to see you know how that works out i do have some hyper pigmentation here so i am going to um just use the foundation i'm not going to color correct this time because i kind of want to have an idea of how um i want you guys to see how it covers you know what i don't like this brush i'm going to switch brushes i'm going to switch brushes i don't like how that one did it. i thought it was going to feel a little better with a more fluffy brush but mm -mm. I don't like that. So back to my old faithful. <laughs> yeah, that's better. So like I usually say, if you have hyperpigmentation and you don't want to color correct, just apply a little bit more foundation in the areas where you um, need color correction. Yeah, I think I did it from here to here and then here. It's just my skin if you guys can see the color works so quickly I am going to be using the pink setting powder people have so much to say about pink setting powder but I just wasn't too convinced that it was black girl friendly, at least, you know, for my undertone, because everyone has different undertones. What I'm doing is I'm patting it on my hand first before I apply it to my face. So I don't get too much on there. But, um, yeah, everybody can't do everything. It doesn't mean anybody's better than somebody else. It just means that it's just not for everybody. So I'm going to give this a try. This is definitely a very matte foundation, just let's straight out. It's very matte and it's full coverage. If you have oily skin and you do not like your, your makeup to be any oily or satin in any kind of way, this is gonna be the one for you. It's not gonna budge. This is very, 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 very matte. And honestly, I like it better this time than the first time I tried it because the first time I was like, I don't know how this is gonna work out for me because it was so, so matte because I used another primer. But I will say with this one, make sure that you're using a hydrating primer if you if you have dry skin. The first time I used it, um, I used a primer that was, it wasn't a matte primer, but it's just like a regular primer, not hydrating or anything like that. And I felt a little tight, not gonna lie. So I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, but let's go ahead and get to the review. But um, I made sure I used a hydrating primer this time that helped significantly. Maybe I didn't hide, I didn't moisturize my face well, because this time, baby, this time I was ready. I moisturized my face really well. I moisturized under my eyes. I let it sit for a while and then I went to fill it. It still wasn't moisturized enough, so I went and moisturized a little bit more. When it comes to makeup, you have to play around with your 
your skin. Whatever is going to be best for you is what you're going to have to do. Not everybody who has oily skin is going to need the same thing. Not everybody who has dry skin needs the same thing. Not everybody with combo skin is going to need the same thing. But I know in certain areas of my face, it's a little bit more drier. So I will put a little bit more love into that area. And in other places where my face is a little bit more oily, I'll do the same. Do what I have to do with that area to make any makeup look look good to me you know what i mean so i would say invest the time into doing that because everything is not one size fits all oh you know what that goes with the thing one size beauty one size no not one size fits all <laughs> i'm funny also this gives such a smooth finish like so smooth i'm pretty sure that if you love a super matte face if you get one of those primers that um one size has that is matte or blurring this is gonna just be like Regarding the one size um, ultimate setting powder in the shade ultra pink, um, I did use it. I ended up mixing it with another setting powder that I really, really love that's good for brightening under my eye. This is the second time I've tried it and honestly, I don't care for this pink. It has nothing to do with the brand. It has nothing to do with um, the powder itself. It's just, it just doesn't work for me. That's why there's literally like other shades, you know what I'm saying? Rich Peach would be the shade that I would go for in this setting powder because I feel like it it looks similar to the type of setting powders that I, I like to use. I used to like, you know, a little bit of goldy banana type powders, but you know, after some time, like I said, makeup is not one size. Literally, you have to work and play with your skin tones, play with your undertones, figure out what works for you and do what works for you. Even after moisturizing my face and applying, um, under eye cream and doing whatever it is that you do i do for before i apply a concealer it still was so so mad it was so mad if you have oily skin and you need a matte matte setting powder you need a matte foundation this is for you you have to try this you have to try it that is it for this half of the video i'm going to go ahead and go because I wanna be back in time. Oh yeah, I went 30 minutes over. Yeah, I wanna be back in time, I got stuff to do. So I will see you guys in the other half of this video, the second part of the video. All right, bye. All right, I am back. The time is now 8.24. When I left here, it was like 142, 141, something like that, because I was running late. <laughs> so um, I'm very tired, so excuse me. Let me pet myself up a little bit. There's just a little bit of oil picking out because, and I actually like that because um, my skin is combination and the dry part of my skin, the dry parts of my skin, it just was, it's just very matte. <laughs> <laughs> and as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel at all, I prefer a satin finish or like a soft matte. Um, this is supposed to be soft matte, but this is a little too matte, if you get what I'm saying. The longer I had it on, you know, like most of the time I'll put um, foundation on and I know it's the right color and, you know, it just needs some time to adjust. This didn't really adjust to me. I'm not sure how it's looking on camera right now. Of course, I'm I'm expecting it to transfer like in my T-zone because that's where the oil is, so I'm just gonna do that right now. Yeah, there's a little bit of transfer. But you know, it's mixed in with my oils, so that's gonna happen. Okay, so I think the theme for this company, um, One Size Beauty is super matte, super beat, flawless, you know, dance all night, makeup's gonna stay up all night, no, no transfer, no sweat, no sweating off type of look. And I think they cater more towards oily skin. And that's not a problem. I don't mind that. I mean, as far as like being upset about it or anything, because I feel like everyone deserves to have a a brand that they can use. There's gotta be a brand out there for everybody. You know, everybody, we don't have the same texture. We don't have the same skin color. We don't have the same um, problems. Some people have hyperpigmentation. Some people have rosacea. Some people have acne. Some people um, have eczema. You know, there's got to be a brand out there that's gonna cater to everybody. And um, honestly, I, I, I'm really happy that people who have super oily skin have this option. As far as it being waterproof, y'all, I don't know. I'm thinking about spraying my face with water. 
I mean, it's the end of the day. Why not? I'm going to wash it off in a minute, huh? here I've never done this before when a foundation says it's waterproof I'm like I'm gonna take your word for it because I'm not going to pool but some people do some people go in a pool with their foundation on so okay so I do see okay so I do see it breaking up a little bit around my nose but keep in mind I do a highlighter on my nose like a highlight concealer. So that could be the concealer. I'm going to take this clean paper towel. Maybe I'll take whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll double it. And I'm just going to pat my face. Who looks like that side is already drying. And see if I see foundation or... Oops, see. That's... That's foundation. foundation so I mean I don't know I've literally never done this waterproof thing maybe I put too much water on it what do you guys think let me know comment down in the comment section maybe I put too much water maybe I sprayed too much water on my face it was just something I decided off the whim to do I have never ever done this with any oh, okay Okay, so what's breaking up right now is my concealer. <laughs> Too Faced. Um, but then, then again, Too Faced is never claimed to be waterproof. So, that is all, folks. But for the most part, it's on there. So, I don't know if one size has um, a concealer that's also waterproof. Because if they did... Um, you may want to check that out. I do put like um, my Too Faced concealer in that area. So maybe that's what just came up because that would be the area. So I put concealer here, here, and then down my nose. And those are the places that it's kind of like breaking up. Not necessarily the foundation. Do I get what I'm saying? So that is it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of my makeup off now that my concealer has embarrassed me. <laughs> no, the concealer didn't embarrass me. I don't I really don't think Too Faced claimed Too Faced concealers claim to be waterproof. But the foundation itself, I think the foundation is staying on pretty well and actually it does feel like the found it it's starting to feel like it did when I before I sprayed my face. Would you consider trying this foundation? Let me know. Sound off in the comment section. Also, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know, let YouTube know that you like my content and I think that's it. <laughs> I'll see you guys for my next video. Bye. She loving the likes. She living the life, yeah. She Instagram famous. You know that it's dangerous. Baby, you famous. Instagram famous. Body on 10, your body on 10, shawty you bangin', oh yeah We gon' get paid now, we gon' get paid now, okay We gon' get paid now, we gon' get paid now, we gon' get paid now